It's a Flow Friday sports show on Flow FM. Welcome back. Well, it's time to get into the program and we're going to be checking in with the head kanga, Caitlin Vine, and she's on the line to tell us all about what's happening at the Oyen United Kangas Netball Club. And, geez, they're hopping around at the moment, Caitlin, I dare say. It's great to be with you. How are you? Yeah, good. Nice and sunny here in Oaktown today. So we're up and about, ready for a good weekend. Beautiful. That's what we want to hear. All alive and well in the Mallee. And it was all guns are blazing on the weekend. Ken Caitlin for the A grade and just bring us in on this because uh, things are starting to get serious. They are cooking up and the A grade are coming good right when it counts, Caitlin. Yeah, I think I said it a, a few weeks earlier that um, Oyun always has a slow start. We never come out racing at the start and we were a slow burn and um, that was a credit to the girls on the weekend having a nice comfortable win 47 to 32 against our Rimple, which uh, consequently put us in the top four. So stoked for the A-grade girls to finally be back up where they should be uh, and enjoying a few wins. Oh, I don't even know if I'd call it a slow burn, Caitlin, but uh, it's been worth it. It's been a long time coming, but it's been worth it. Just on the A-grade side of things, do you reckon, I mean, this might sound a bit cheeky, but do you reckon Wentworth might start, uh, you know, turning their heads around their shoulders at some point soon? I reckon they might, given uh, the recent history to go by from the 2022 granny. You know what? There's definitely potential there. Uh, it's not our out of the question. Um, I think they'll be solely focused on, on their game and, and not too worried about the opposition at the moment. But, um, you know, I think we've done it before. We could definitely do it again. We'll just see what happens. Uh, we still have a lot of changes in the team and um, are still sort of working out exactly what combinations work best. But um, I think even with the changes, the girls seem to be settling really well. Why did I just know that you were going to play that one with the straightest bat ever? There's still a lot more to discuss, though. Caitlin, just going off last weekend. So tell us about the other the grades and how they got on on the courts in round 11 last weekend of Sunraysia Netball? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, A grade was the only senior win for the for the round. Um, in the B grade, we had a really solid start, but unfortunately just couldn't keep up with the girls. Uh, we're not even really sure what went wrong. It just it just didn't click. So we were definitely missing our key goalkeeper, Chelsea Jeffries, um, who always stars week to week. So uh, glad to have her back in this week. The C grade girls had a, a hard fought game. Uh, and unfortunately, just with mixing up the team a little bit, we ended up going down by a few. And the Sea Rose girls had a really good hit out and enjoyable game, but unfortunately didn't get the win. Um, across the juniors, lots of development, um, a couple of wins in there as well. So happy with how they're all going. Um, they've been lucky enough to have a couple of clinic and extra training sessions over the school holidays with our gun defender and goalie, Cat Brown. So awesome for our juniors to continue to develop. Great stuff. All right, back to A grade momentarily. Let's just uh, take a look at some of these results from round 11 across the league. We'll start with Mildura v Mabine. We said this might have been one of the better games to look forward to last weekend. Caitlin, was it? Uh, not to be. It was quite a comfortable win from Mildura, 62 to Mabine, 35. So, uh, that, yeah, a pretty handy score from Mildura. Uh, good for us, knowing that we're going into playing against Mabine on the weekend. Um, hopefully we can get on top. But, yeah, a cruisy win from Mildura. The South Mildura girls had the very uphill task of trying to contain Wentworth. What was the final score there? Final score was Wentworth 57 to South Mildura 30. So 27 goals in it, but still keeping them under 60 goals um, obviously was a great effort by the defenders. Uh, Still a a solid, solid game by South. And we suspected we might have got a good old-fashioned scrap with the game between Robin Val Houston and Imperials. Was it a close one, Caitlin? It was as close as they get, a draw. 48 all. So we picked that one. We knew it was going to be tight, and it was. Wow. How is that? A couple of draws to report across our Fly FM network netball leagues this week, which has been very interesting. We'll take a look at the ladder quickly. Caitlin, just update us as to how things stand with the A grade, because, of course, the most exciting news really to report over the last seven days is that the Oyun United Kangas are in that four, and anything can happen from here. Yeah, very, very exciting times. We've got Wentworth at the top spot, uh, 10 games played and 10 wins. Muldura sitting second on 36 points, having only lost 
to Wentworth. South Mildura sitting on 26 points uh, in third, so quite a big gap between second and third there. And then Orion, again, a quite a big gap on 18 points sitting in fourth. Then following on, Irimple fifth, Merbein sixth. Imperials, Robinvale and Redcliffe sitting on the bottom. All right, so I recall you saying something last week or certainly in more recent times, Caitlin, that uh, the draw stands out nicely for the A-grade side. So just looking ahead, how do you think things are going to pan out? Look, you know, if I was a psychic, it would be very helpful. We could plan things a bit better. But we we are happy that we've got a few... um, good chances coming up, not only for A-grade, but for a lot of our teams. Um, so Merbein next week and then looking into uh, Muldura um, after the buy. So, you know, definitely some opportunities there. Um, I think Merbein, hopefully we can be quite successful on the weekend and we will have um, a few other games coming up where we know that we, we should be able to get that win. I think coming up against South um, in round 15 will be the key to us, you know, if we can hold our spot and um, progress into finals. So lots of excitement to come. Uh, it's just great to see how much the girls have improved and, and how they're gelling. Um, fantastic to see someone so young as Maggie Smith uh, really improving her netball and becoming quite a solid player in the A grade side. So, uh, yeah, it's all smiles, all excitement around the Kanga crew, and we're looking forward to a good weekend at Mervyn. I think I've just been told it's actually going to be 50k wins this weekend. So, it'll be uh, slow, short, low netball, I think. Wow. Well, uh, we'll have to see how that all goes. But, uh, Kaylin, I reckon the noise is coming. Watch out, Sunraiser. And, uh, yeah, there's some exciting weeks ahead, that's for sure. But, of course, knowing that uh, you're all very level-headed girls there at the O United Kangas, you'll be looking at it one game at a time. And for this week, it is all about Mabine, as you say. So what's the sort of scout report? What do you know? Your past experience, you've got plenty of it. Um, how do they look this season? Are they any different to what you've come up against in the past? What do the A grade need to to prepare for tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, obviously Mervyn was way back at the start. It was our first game of the season. So um, we didn't win that game. We also had a very different side. We were missing a lot of key players. Uh, and Mervyn were very young, uh, missing a few of their experienced players who had retired. Um, but I think looking back from how they've gone against other teams, I think that, you know, our momentum will get us going and, and we'll fare pretty well. I think Mervina are a fantastic club. They're um, that little bit out of town that they seem to have a bit of country about them. And um, we, yeah, are looking forward to catching up with them and, and having a good old battle. All right. Well, let's wait and see what happens. Now, let's just look at our Rimple in their game against South Mildura. Is there any chance they can bounce back or will South simply be too strong? I think I think South will get it. I Rimple really do have a fantastic side. You know, I think um, most of their players are under eighteen or uh, under twenty one. So um, if you look at I Rimple, give them two three years, they're going to be unstoppable. I think. Um, but for this week, I think South will get the win. Imperials up against Red Cliffs. Are you tipping the home side here? I gather you will be. Definitely, Imperials will get a nice win there. All right, we'll finish with Wentworth and Robin Val Euston. Very little chance that the away side can swing a surprising result here. Caitlin, so Wentworth, you think uh, they'll probably have an easy day out tomorrow? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> as simple as that. Well, uh, Caitlin Vine, our correspondent out of the Sunraysia Netball and the head kanga there from the O United Kangas Netball Club. Always a really great pleasure catching up with you. All the very best to you on the weekend. Enjoy the netball and uh, hopefully those wins aren't too fierce, but it sounds like you're going to be up against it. Thanks so much. Go Kangas.